Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep, welcome back to Pacific Paradise and welcome back to this item we find ourselves on last time we came here because we were looking for materials. We have, well we have a bunch of spare slots so why don't we pick up these rocks on the way because, well I forgot a few things. Yeah, I forgot that we'd actually set up a, uh, a little experiment back on the home island. The experiment was to see if fruit was disappearing in the game, see if it was still bugged and we set up a few boxes, one with rotten fruit in it, one with fresh fruit in it and then we just put some fruit on top of our house. Unfortunately the experiment has been running and I think home island is in that direction. I think. I think we're on the very edge of the map. I don't believe there are any more islands in that direction. I think we came from that direction because well that's where the raft is and that means Yes, I think if we go that direction, we go a couple of islands over and that should be fine. Is that not right, Mr. Krabs? You are stuck underwater because crabs shouldn't be underwater. Not in this game anyway. Hmm, that's going to be an issue for you. Okay, fine. So, every time we try and go home, there is a bit of a problem. The problem is... Well, hang on a second. Why don't we ask this lad? Hey, Oath Chum, what is the problem every time we try and go home? <laughs> Every time you try and go home, there is a storm and you get lost. Yes, I think last time we tried to go home from this direction, we ended up actually going along the southern islands and getting well and truly lost. So, uh, yes, I can put that in there. Do I have any more rocks? Spits for rocks? I don't know. Put that in there and that in there. Two slots. Yeah, one and two. There we go. Empty hands. And the rough should be all gassed up, ready to go. It is in a manner of speaking. Yeah, push me pull you system so we do have a bunch of uh, a bunch of fuel even if one motor runs out we can then switch to the other and if both of them run out well wow. ooh let's see what we did there if both of them run out we got sails which is not a problem so I'll lift this uh, two anchors is a bit of a problem it's just a pain in the butt to remember which anchor you put down first ooh all right, uh, that was weird. I thought, I thought that was shark music for some reason. It's not. Sh oh, come on, raft. It's not shark music. It is, in fact, uh, probably the storm that's raging outside. We're now drifting sideways a little bit. Sploosh. Okay, cool. So yeah, in order to Zen navigate home, I know a few things. I know that we've been coming up the side of the map. I know there are no islands in that direction. And I know the waves always go in a single direction. And in this case, they're going from, well, we're looking over there, they're going from our right to left. Waves always travel in the same direction in game and they can be used as a navigation aid. If you get lost, look for the waves. The sun always comes up in the same place and you can use a compass, although, I believe the compass is slightly misaligned. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, fine. So I think what we need to do is we need to swing by this island and then probably carry on in a straight line until we see the silhouette of Home Island. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll do it. Uh, yes, our legs. Our legs are actually fine. That's a shark. That's a shark. All right. Two problems. I don't know if we've been to this island yet. It might be worth coming back here at some point. Uh, if we skirt around... Oh, I don't know what's following us. That is definitely the you're being followed by something music. Uh, a few things can spawn out this far. Uh, one of them is a goblin shark. The other one's a great white shark. We haven't seen many great whites recently. Hmm. All right, so I've skirted around that island. I. Th oh, God, it's just following us. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I don't know what it is. Alright, yeah, that's a weird combination of wrecks. And there's some material on the beach, maybe we haven't been there. Okay, straighten up, straighten up. So I think what we did last time is start heading towards these islands, hoping that those islands would take us home. Ah, look! Look what I see! Ahead of us, 215 days survived. Oh, wonderful, yeah. No, I zen send it. That's really weird that we can see the island from here though. We've been out traveling for ages and ages and ages. Wait, that... Wait, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, that can't be right. Where are we in the world? Oh, I think I know what's confusing me. I think we go to that big island over there, normally. Oh, and a whale. 
There's a whale and he's breaching... Well, his tail's in the air. He's not actually breaching. That would be very, very impressive if the whole whale could come out of the ocean. Oh, okay. Interesting. Got to make a note of this path, then. Yeah, because those islands down there move in a sort of semicircle. I think we followed these northern islands before. Weird. All right. All right, so we're scooting back home, and then we can see we can see the containers of uh, our house. We can see our house, yeah. Do not adjust your TV sets. Do not adjust your eyes if you are watching this for the first time. That is a house up in the trees, and it's going to take a lot to load everything in. All right, I'm just going to make a run for the beach. Can I, can I get her into the harbour? No. No way. No way. So what I'm going to do is slam her up on the beach... Alright. But, oh, no, did not want to do that. Because we were being followed. Well, I don't know if we if we dragged anything in. Sometimes we do drag uh, deep water sharks in with us. Hmm. No, we should be alright. Should be alright. Okay, fun. Uh, yes, home island. Well, it's nice to be back. Oh, dead sharks. Cool, man. Well, I mean... And material just left on the beach. I am a monster. <gasps> and a giant crab. Ooh, I'm a monster with an axe somewhere. Hello. What is he doing? Oh, he's following us. Hey, buddy. Do you just want to... Just... Ow. Ow. All right. That hurt quite a lot. That was not fun. Got, got a little nips. Oh, yeah. Okay, so uh, we had... Oh, jeez. That's a look. Oh, wow, that's a double look. Uh, yeah, we had a broken leg. Because we fell off an aeroplane. And our, our legs are fine. I realised something in this game, like the other day. You never look at your own character. You can't see your own character. You can, you can see other people's characters if you're doing co-op. But you can't see your own. I was like, hey, wait a second. So you, you never, never use a mirror. Oh, nice. Uh, never use a mirror. And never, uh, never see yourself. And I was like, wait a minute. Is that, does our character have cakes? You can't see your character's cakes. And I'm like, oh. Hmm. There might be a third person mode, but I have a feeling it's one of those third person modes with no heads. So you can't take yourself to the bakery. Wait, what are you saying? Well, if you're under 21 and can't have a tracked vehicle license, then it's to do with cakes. If you're over 21, I ain't explaining it to you either. Uh, right, okay, cool. So we have the Great White Bar and Grill with the Great White on the roof. Eh, it's good to be home, actually. It's nice to be home. Rubber ducky. Rubber ducky. Rubber ducky. Excellent. And the aeroplane. Ah, up in the trees. It is really nice to be home. I was looking at the cartographer. I do, do actually do that. Uh, Steve Corright was suggesting that you do that. Oh, crap. I nearly just glitched off the back of the... Am I crouched or something? No, that was just a weird bug. Um, yeah, Steve Corroy was suggesting I, I look in the cartographer to see where I am in the world. Old Jum. Yeah, I, I know about the cartographer. But also, if we've explored every island, we can always just add some custom islands. I, yeah, I have that feeling as well. But there are like 40, uh, what is it, 46 custom islands. 46 custom islands, an aircraft carrier, and three boss tiles. Oh, we haven't done this in a while. I wonder what will happen. So yeah, there are quite a few island tiles that are left for us to explore. And I think they're actually on the other side of the map, kind of in that direction and kind of in that direction. So there's probably plenty for us to still grab and uh, expand our mansion with. I'm going to jump off here. We haven't done it in a while. I'm going to try and remember the run button. It's not that. Okay, well, nope, nope, not that either. Hmm, it might be this? They're a lot better than I thought they'd be. Pick up our speed. We're chasing them. No matter how you try to run from us, our school's tanks will not allow a single drop of tea to spill. I mean... Alright, sure. It, it, it's just a thing that happens. I forgot it happens, but it apparently it still happens. So the lighthouse, yeah, this is one of the big issues with the uh, building in Stranded Deep. The lighthouse. As we back away, 
LOD takes over, low detail models, and our lighthouse gets turned into a bunch of uh, 2D sprites with a big shark on the roof. And the reason we put the shark on the roof is because, well, it uh, it allows us... Oh, more, more building material. It's just kind of lying around. It allows us to bounce light off a physics object which allows us to see at night. I'm going to have a little look at I don't think we've been at the lighthouse for a while. Oh yeah, we can open the back doors. Little French doors, just have a little look at the world. Which is wet and deep and terrifying, so I'm just going to close the doors and just go upstairs. Not because we need to go upstairs, just to have a little look. Um, oh, nope, there we go. Just need to have a little look. Why don't you look up? Mm, gamers don't look up. What? Uh, you've got to be kidding. No, that's not broken, is it? Nope, I just fell, my lady. Alright. Um, it is a little bit dangerous because you need to jump off the tops of the steps. There we go. There we go. Just a, just a little dangerous. Excellent. So yes, all of the, these were my idea. Originally, you guys, you guys made a comment, and I was like, oh, "I'll do the comment." So the physics objects are up here because we need something for the light to bounce off of, and the ultimate physics object was going to be this lad. Hello, old chum. How are you doing up there? Yeah, he's just sort of chilling like a villain, but he's a massive physics object which will reflect light at night, which is nice. And I think we can see the other one from here. Yeah, we can see the dorsal fin. We tried using a tiger, but the tiger, uh, its draw distance is very short. Sploosh! There we go. Yeah, the tiger's draw distance is too short. They vanish. So the shortest draw distance in the game uh, is the old tiger shark, which is why they, they sometimes disappear when you are following them around. I thought there was a tarp there, but there isn't. No idea. I'm going to go and check our plants. Oh god, yeah, here we go. Here we go. I believe all our plants may be dead. Alright. Oh. Yeah. Gonna have to plant these. So that's lucky that these two didn't despawn. Because we've had a problem with fruit. Let's plant that. So they've dropped the fruit as the plants died, with the exception of the potatoes. Yeah, the potatoes are completely donezo. Everything else dropped fruit. Interesting. Yeah, I can't interact with these. Um, hmm. Alright, do I have any more potatoes around here? No, and these are about to run- oh, jeez, alright. Gonna have to get this all watered and sorted out before we even check the fruit on top of the house. Uh, hmm. Can anyone spot the problem here? Uh, achievement Green Thumb cannot be awarded on a custom island. It's going to tell us that like 16 times. Why? Because the game doesn't know when to stop giving you a notification. A notification, old chum. We don't need this one. Alright, drop you two there. Check these two and make sure they're not the actual ones that we need. They're not. Climb up on here. One of these has got a bunch of jugs in it, otherwise I just left it on an island a million miles away. Oh, don't tell me I did that. I might have done that. Nope, here we go. Jugs. I have them. They're in my hand. We're we'll going to water our plants. And then, once our plants have been watered... Uh, well, th then they'll be wet and they won't die. So that's fine. But we need to run. Run as fast as we can. You can't catch me. I'm... I'm the lady in kitten heels, apparently. So which is nice. Um, can't suck that down. So, one, two three. That's already got a bunch. Okay. Did that go up by one? Weird. And then we just suck some water down. Two, three, and four. Oh, that's actually... Oh, got no fuel in it. I see you there in the background, you little creepy crab. One... Oh, whoops. There we go. Uh, I won't water them all the way up. These ones actually have plenty of water on them, so we just need potatoes. Okay, fine. Um, I'm going to get a little bit more water from the stills. There we go. That will allow them to do stuff, especially if it's raining. Is that guy stuck? Maybe. Can I bonk you from here? Two, three, and four. Yes, I can, is the answer. Well, you don't need to work hard. You just need to... Wait, what? 
You just need to smack a crab in its shell until it explodes and all the legs fall off because nobody wants the legs. Is it raining? Look up, look down. Oh, it is raining. Ah, so our water stills will now generate water. Excellent. I'm glad we could do that. I'm going to grab some leaves of the fire. I'm going to need some leaves. I'm going to need 12 leaves. 12 leaves? Yeah, we have six. If I grab another one, we'll have 12. It's amazing how that works. So, yes, we're not going to be able to see any sharks or anything today. I was thinking we could probably go back to the starting islands and see if we can coax one out like we have done many times. But not today. Um, there's another one there. That's 11. There, got it. Ooh, it's a storm. It's a pickle. It's a storm. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can. I'm going to say I can't put that away. Boom. All right, let's see what's going on on the roof. Oh, wait. Is Big Raft going to be okay in the storm? Um, how did that end up there? How did we end up parking this one here? I don't remember. Uh, yes. In a manner of speaking. Oh, the, yeah, because the, the anchor's down. Otherwise, it would just disappear. Fine, I'm a genius. What did I do with my crab? Wait, I lost a crab. He's big and he's dead. Oh, there we go. Status effects. Uh, we do need to drink. All right. I may as well drink. Drink hearty. Okay, cool. Take crab upstairs. Upstairs. Crab needs to go upstairs. Crab needs to go upstairs. Why are you taking crab upstairs? Crab is dinner. Crab is dinner. Crab is dinner. We'll get crab cooking and then we'll go and check on the fruit. Let's do it. Do it. Uh, move crab here. Ooh, no space for crab. Okay, fine. Fuel fire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fire is fueled. And crab is dinner. One. We could get the other crab and cook it at the same time. No, because we're not smoking the crab. We're just barbecuing it. There you go. Body falls out of the world. If you want to get rid of something, drop it off the side of the boat in the ocean and it will vanish from the world. Isn't that like ocean dumping? I mean, we just dumped some meat onto a barbecue, so... Well, not all dumping is bad, I guess. I don't know what I'm trying to teach you here. So, we'll light the fire. Uh, it's nice to be back in, like, civilization, says the thunder just blasts away. So that will start cooking. What was that achievement? Is it still telling me about achievements? Hmm, I don't know. Something got achieved. The achievement you've lit a fire cannot be awarded on a custom island. You don't get achievements on a custom island. That's illegal. Why? I don't know. Okay, so the fruit has actually disappeared. Boom! We left some fruit up here where it couldn't disappear. It's gone. Uh, spoiled Kwawa and Spoiled Kura are still there. And spoiled. Okay. So the ultimate answer to the question. If you leave fruit outside, if you leave fruit outdoors, it will vanish. I think, uh, I think we were lucky with our farm. Oh, hey shark. I think we were lucky with our farm because we got back in time before the fruit in the farm disappeared. So the reason it lasted so long is because of the water in the plots but once we were gone the water uh, the water dried up and you know the plants died uh, so we were way too long that's the downside to this game if it, it encourages you to do farming but then it doesn't like uh, it doesn't like helping you when you're away from the farm so you can top up the farms fully go away for a few days and then everything's just gone but yeah these two were fresh, they're now spoiled. These two are spoiled, they were spoiled before we left and still spoiled, but haven't despawned. De so my advice, if you got fruit, put a couple in a box and hold on to them. If you need to, uh, if you need to replenish farm, use them and take the first, first fruit from your farm and put it in a box. So that way you will always be able to, uh, always be able to reseed a farm. We can see the top of, oh, geez. We can see the top of our lighthouse over there. We can see our... Oh, we're cooking stuff there. 
Oh no, we're going to fall off into the night. Uh, my legs. No, we didn't. You're a bit of a butthole sometimes. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, the storm, though. Wait, is that... Has this... Is the storm occluded by the house? I don't think it is. Uh, no, I think that the sprites are just so far away. All right. Are these cooked? How can you tell? Well, pick them up, drop them on your face, and there'll be a griddle pattern. Mm, I don't think that's cooked. Okay. Uh, there is a griddle pattern, but it's just medium crab meat, so it's not cooked yet. Okay. Now we have two options. We can leave them until the morning. Which is probably what we're going to do. Or we could wait around for him to cook. If we wanted to get a cooking skill up, we would have to sit next to the fire within the sound of the cooking. Importantly, you've got to hear the hissing and sizzling of the met. And then it will uh, it'll get your cooking skill up. Cooking skill, that hard, last block is probably the hardest to do because it's the one that you do the least. You run around for athletics, you gather things, you beat things up, you shoot things. But you don't really spend all the equivalent amount of time just waiting for stuff to cook. So I'm going to go and have a little sleep. Yeah, sleepy sleeps. Hmm, why would you sleepy sleep? Well, because I'm tired. But there is no sleep skill. No, there isn't. They took that out. You used to have to sleep every two days. Now you don't. People forget. Uh, so we'll save. And then we will sleep. Alright, and it is first thing in the morning. It is 5.59. Oh, the sun's about to come up. It is... Coming up. There we go. Everything snaps in and the sun is now above the horizon. A tiny little dot on the horizon. A tiny little dot. When it gets up in the sky, it becomes super huge. It's actually like the environmentals in this game are pretty nice. There are some bugs. There are some things that don't quite work. But the stuff that does work works really well. I would like to see some extra bits and pieces added to the game. But a couple of devs. And I do know that the co-op mode in especially the console version seems to be pretty bugged at the moment so if you are trying to do the oh god what was it uh, the boss monsters save the game first try to do the boss monster if you do defeat the boss monster go into crafting menu go to story yep story and then you've got this airplane and this trophy the trophy is literally the trophy they put in your house and the airplane are the parts that you need to leave. They will appear after you've killed the boss monster one at a time for each monster. I would probably leave them in there until you need to leave, but because they're so bugged, you can't really do that. You've got to try and claim them straight away. So the padlock should disappear and then you should be able to claim the part, put it in a box, keep it somewhere safe because those are the only parts that you will have. Um, but unfortunately in co-op, yeah, this seems to be pretty bugged at the moment. So I would go to the Stranded Deep forums and leave a bug report if that does happen to you. Anyway, food and water is... Uh, water's not too bad, food's down. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. One giant crab fills us all the way up. We do need some water in order to... Ah, gas can. Uh, in order to... Nope. Okay, heal ourselves. So now we'll start to heal because everything is tippity top. The guy in the oboe is just giving it the source. Well, I mean, we knew that was going to happen. I kind of want to see what we were doing before. I'm also... Hmm. Hmm. Do we try... See, what I'm thinking is... We go to the starting island and back again. Normally we take a raft, but I'm thinking we might just take the gyrocopter. Nobody likes watching me fly the gyrocopter, as evidenced by the like the viewing stats. But everyone wants one. It's like, where do you get them from? In-game aircraft carrier is the only place where you can get parts. Again, if you're playing co-op, save regular, and you know if you encounter a bug, then I don't know what to tell you, buddy. Let Leafa report on Stranded Deep forums, the official forums. Alright, I'm going to land on the pier. Bonk. Uh, e. There we go. We need some gas. Gas, gas, gas. So what we're going to do, see if we can lure something in. Right, get rid of you. Get rid of... Why is that there? Put you in there, which means I can take a rocks out of my pants. Why have you got rocks in your pants? I mean... It's kind of a personal question, really. Um... Oh, we did get quite a lot of stuff. Ah, there we go. One, two, there we go. 
So what I'm going to do is fly out low and fast. No, fast first, then low and slow on the way back and see if we can encourage something to follow us in. That's not going to work. That's, that's what I want. Juice it up. Uh, that should be alright, but I'm never one to drive around with a half-empty tank, so I'm going to fill it all the way up. Good, good. Um, Just quick weather check. Look up. Look down, no rain sprites. For some reason, that's what you got to do. I don't know why. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot we put a, a little building out there with a lantern on it. So the entrance to the harbour is all lit up. This is already... Pa ah, right. So I think that's north, south, east, and west. And for some reason, the gyrocopter always wants to face east. When you get on it, it will try and turn around to face east. Right, so uh, we'll say Celebi to our island. Uh, I think we'll go over our building, because we're building folly. I think what we're going to do is build out to here and put a little house on it. Because why not? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So what usually happens is we get halfway on the way back, and then something spawns. So what I'm thinking is it should do the same if we fly low enough to the water. So we'll fly out, land on that... Uh, mm, we don't even need to land on the island. We can just wave at the island, like Marilyn Monroe. Just give it a little little cheeky wave, or like the Queen. Okay, we're out of influence of our island, as evidenced by the little jerk, as our island just unloaded from memory. And they, there might be a little jerk as we go forward. Ooh, can you not turn off the fuel roundel? I... Yeah, I tried to do that before, but for some reason it didn't work. Because what happens is... Like our avatar and the gyrocopter get sort of they sort of jiggle around and then you end up with the with this thing sort of like I wonder if we can get a tiger to spawn. I don't know. Maybe. We're just we're just coming in low, slow. Like we're very low. Alright. Coming over the island. Yeah. Oh, we're super low. We're essentially character height. Okay, back to home island. See if we can actually get one to the, to trigger with the gyrocopter. What if you? What if happens if you hit the waves? What happens if you hit the water? Uh, the gyrocopter will float for a moment. It does have a like a flotation mechanic. It never. I don't think it used to. I think it used to not have that. And what would happen is it would just sink like a stone. But if it if you crashed into the ocean, it should float long enough for you to swim back and carry it like a physics object. We're low enough. What we normally do is go out. But then the music's... Uh, music's pretty normal. Maybe we do need to take a raft. I don't know. I'm just... I'm just... I'm just experimenting. No, I'm still hearing oboe off over the sound of, like, an incredible amount of power from a, a little, um... Is it like a little one-pot engine, two-pot engine? Something like that. Hmm. So that's the island loading in. There's a lot of physics objects on the island. Which is why it jiggles and jerks when you come in. So technically, if we go back, one of three things will happen. Uh, either nothing followed us back, which is fine. Something followed us back and it's bad, or something followed us back and it's doofy and quite friendly. Dunno. Uh, let's just land here. Yeah, we came in real low. That's nearly half a tank of fuel just to go from one island to another. Which is why we built the big raft. The big raft was originally designed so we can carry the gyrocopter around on, like, on the back of it, so if we need to scout we can. Now, no, 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 no. Did anything follow us back? I'm not seeing any movement. It's easier to see stuff on top than it is to see it underneath. It doesn't mean it didn't work. Nah, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, 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 oh! But we have, we have a folly. Hmm? I was like, huh? What is that? I thought I saw something in the sky, but I, it's, it's nothing. Um, I'm going to look up at the sky and then look down again. 
it kind of feels like... Uh oh, hello. Yes, something did follow us back. Oh, yeah, that's not a friendly sight. That's not a friendly one. That's a big old boy. Yeah, no. Bonk. Straight in the bean. Ooh, don't like that. What is it? It's a great white. Is it? Yeah, he's casual. He swims casual. One in the butt. But four, four, four should do it. Four barrels. Mate, it is not four barrel shark. <gasps> no, 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 no. That's four. That's four. That that would kill a normal shark. Oh, jeez. No one the music started. Are you not going to get close to him? No. Oh, what did he do? Did he ping back off Nemo? I don't know. Can he get us from here? Bonk. I don't know if he can, actually. Oh, I don't really want to test a theory. Alright, bud. Bonk. Ah, oh, that was six. Okay, fine. Probably because of hunting skill. Jeez! Well, that's a look in it. So he floats for a bit, and then he'll sink down to the bottom of the sea, which is what the gyrocopter will do and most of the other sharks will do. So you need to get them out. Originally, sharks would just straight up... Uh, would just straight up sink to the bottom of the ocean and take all your spears and everything with them. And they changed that a long time ago. So one of three... Oh, there's one there. That was six. Six with uh, a fully skilled up hunting skill. Normally about eight. Okay. And this guy is... Well, he's dead. So yeah, we managed to kite him back with the gyrocopter. Nice. Well, that worked. And he's the only one with a big wobbly jaw. Blap. Blap, blap, blap. Nice. Okay, cool. Excellent. So we're back on Home Island. Uh, we, we came back to look at our fruity experiment. The fruity experiment is fine. It did exactly what I thought it was going to do. Don't leave your fruit out. Just le laying on the ground because it will eventually vanish. And the gyrocopter is... I mean, it's kind of a thing, isn't it? It uh, uses a lot of fuel. It does mean you can get from A to B quite quickly. The rafts are probably the most efficient way of doing it. And a 4x4 raft is probably the best with the sails on the side. Even though we've made an H-shaped raft, this one just get uh, just kind of gets snagged on stuff. But I'm going to leave it there for the time being. So if you like this, definitely leave a little like. Leave a subscribe. And if you do subscribe, you can click the little bell if you want notifications. Don't click the little bell if you don't want notifications. Um... Nah, I think that's about it. Hope everyone's well. Hope everyone's having a good time. And I'll tell you what, I'll catch you next time.